Hi, it's Tony and this is Brandon and How we are going? Animal Trackers Wildlife. Today we're looking at a pigeon job, right? Yep, we're going to be uh, preventing them from getting onto some ledges and some I-beams up along this building here. It's a four-story building. We'll show you that as we go up this insane lift, which can go up to 100 feet high. Hopefully we don't need to go yeah, anywhere near there. We should be good at about 50 feet. I am deathly scared of heights and uh, I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. But we got to get this pigeon problem solved. These things are super gross. Very disgusting. They're 33 like, diseases they can carry yeah. on their gut that you don't want to get. They are the uh, rats of the sky. Yeah. You know? Encephalitis, meningitis, all sorts of other things. Not fun though. Yeah. So we're going to show you how we're doing it, what it's going to look like, and uh, hopefully this will go smooth. And we'll show you in a bit. All right. All right. Uh, this is a serious lift. God. Don't lean on the door, you'll slip right out. Here we've got a, a, a net that's partially installed. Um, what we do is we run this cable around the perimeter of the opening, and then that cable is tightened, and then we clip a net to it all the way around and that prevents the pigeons from being able to go up in this in this gap up along the building. So in this gap they're roosting up there it looks like, huh? Yeah, not so much on this one but certainly on the ones that are further up. So this is this one at this lower level is more preventative but the upper ones they're actually roosting up there. All right, well let's get this one done and go look at those upper ones. Cool. Yeah, so we are going to be spiking this I-beam. So yeah, we're going to be installing this this spike here to prevent the birds from nesting and roosting on this ledge here. They're, uh, they're all over this ledge and they sleep in here at night. And so we're gonna be putting a spike here to prevent that from happening. All right, and we are way up. We are way up. Oh my God. We're scary up. <laughs> yes. Oh. Drive safe, my friend. We got this section just about finished. This is something you definitely wouldn't want to land on if you were a bird. That don't look very comfortable. And I know, I don't like it anywhere near my eyeballs, so good luck with that. Brandon at the controls. First time, huh? <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be standing by the door, I get the feeling here. Well, here's what the pigeon nest looks like. You can see it's absolutely disgusting. Totally remote. It's like that uh, Home Alone 2 where the old lady is coated in the pigeon crap and oh. Kevin is befriending her. I thought that was just the most disgusting scene in the movie. I don't get it whatsoever. Just looking at that. Brings it all back? Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. So we showed spiking. What are we doing here now? We're gonna be installing a net across this uh, opening here to prevent them nesting in here. And- What we, color netting do we use? We're gonna use black because- Why, Why is that? Well, it doesn't matter what color you use, it'll all turn black. <laughs> it'll get covered in dirt, it'll all turn black eventually. So might as well use black to start. It's the least visible color um, up this high. So what kind of net lasts a long time? Is this some special kind of net? It is. Thank you for asking. This is a special kind of net called, um, it's made by a company called Bird Barrier. And it's a special UV that so it's it's got a lot of uh, ability to resist ultraviolet light from the sun and it's got a special coating on there they say it guarantees itself for or they say it guarantees for 10 years against uh decompos decom composition uh, decomposing de against falling apart with the sunlight <laughs> and so the net will be placed at this level 
and it'll be clipped to hog ring technically to this cable and so that that cable is tensioned and it'll prevent the bird from being able to get back up into this cavity and how are you going to tension it with it this this is a come along and it's going to be it's we're going to clamp this and, and spin that spin right. that and it'll tension right. that cable it'll tighten that up so that that netting won't droop or sag and that way they won't be able to get behind it cool. and it's a two inch netting um and that's sufficient for pigeons yeah this it's a two inch opening to the net and that's sufficient for pigeons perfect all right let's do it So this is what we talked about, how we're attaching the net to that cable with hog rings, and this will keep that net in place. What do they call it? They call them hog rings. They call them hog rings because I think these are used to actually put in the ears of hogs to identify them on the farm. Yeah. I think you'd like clip their ID tags to them or something. Perfect. Well, we're getting near the end. Getting there. I think it's looking good. Yeah, moving right along. I'm getting tired and I'm ready to be done with this. We had some hiccups earlier where I needed to learn how to drive the lift, but after I had out, uh, the guy came out and gave me some training. We're good to go. Yep. Moral of the story. All right, so if this is the kind of thing that you need, you have a condominium association and you've got pigeons that are getting everywhere exactly what we can do for you yeah give us a call give us a call at animal trackers wildlife i appreciate you watching take care thanks bye